From this Maven repository manager presentation, you will learn how you can improve the performance of your Maven build by configuring a repository which is local to your organization as well as how to control the artifacts that are used by the projects or teams across your organization. When you execute a Maven install or Maven build command from, your, from the command line to build your projects, you see that Maven is going to download the third-party libraries that are required from a public Maven public repository. Every time it's going to download these jars whenever they change on HTTP using the HTTP protocol and it will dump them somewhere on your machine locally under your repository folder of your m2.m2 folder. So it's going to use a lot, lot of network bandwidth and it's going to take quite some time for Maven to pull these third-party libraries. For example, if you are using Apache Access 2, Spring Framework, Hibernate, all these jars, when you build your project and if your project has declared these projects, Hibernate, Spring, etc. as dependencies in the Maven spawn.xml, Maven will pull them from the public repository, which is going to take a lot of network bandwidth and time, which will, of course, decrease your build performance and build time increases. So to come around or to work around this issue or to overcome this issue, we have Maven repository manager, which allows us to have a local repository for our organization. And this repository acts as a proxy to the actual public repository. And this repository knows there are different ways that we can configure this repository to sync up with the actual public repository to which all the open source projects are pushed. So the second uh, great feature of this repository or uh, the local repository we are going to have will be it, it will act as an internal project repository. So if you want to distribute your pro the project jars that you are working on, you have a, let's say you have a big development team which is divided into multiple groups, each group working on different modules. When one group wants certain projects or jars from the other group, although they are not going to change them, if there is no internal repository, they will have to take all the projects from the other team, build them locally and then use them in their project. Instead, you can use this uh, repository as an internal repository will push your jars or Maven will push your jars to that internal organization repository and the other teams can pull it from that particular repository and right away use them instead of building them again. And they can always get the latest as well. So while serving these two, it also improves the build performance since now every time you install a Maven install or even your deployment uh, team when they execute Maven command or even from Jenkins when a Maven command runs, it's going to pull all the artifacts from the proxy or from the local repository that you are going to create or your organization is going to create. Secondly, you are also going to get the control. You can control what jars the teams in your organization can use by giving them only access to the internal project repository. So every time a, a team member installs Maven, you will give them a settings.xml, which is the Maven configuration file. And this settings.xml, instead of pulling the dependencies from public repository, it's going to pull them from this local repository which you create for your organization. It's very easy to download these repositories and configure them. Uh, Nexus is a famous Maven repository from Sonatype. You can easily download Nexus and run it. It uses a Jetty as its container. You can run it on Jetty or you can run it on different uh, web containers. Once you configure Nexus, you can give that URL or configure that URL in the settings.xml on a developer's machine. And from that point in time, everything will be pulled from that Nexus repository. So if you have a team of architects who are going to decide what third party libraries can be downloaded, uh, for example, let's say you are downloading, your organization only allows Apache licensed jar files to be downloaded and used in projects or a GNU license, then you can have that control and configure and make sure that only those jars are available in Nexus. So it gives a lot of control and filter out what you need and what your organization or developer shouldn't be using. To summarize, the repository manager in Maven allows you to have a local repository to, for your organization instead of pulling the dependencies always from the public repository. You have several advantages, it improves your build time, you, it will give you control on the kind of jars that can be downloaded and uh, the kind of jars that your organization should use and also it acts as an internal project repository so that you, teams within an organization can use projects across the organization by simply pulling the jar files and dependencies artifacts which they need instead of pulling the entire source code and building them locally.